guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about social distancing and what it means whilst we're all being self-isolated and tucked away in our houses or apartments and I know a lot of people don't really understand what social distancing is so I did some research from the UK government and this is what they've said it is so I'll just briefly read out the descriptions and add my own thoughts at the end so here we go so what is social distancing from .gov.uk, which is the UK government website from where I am located, it may be different for you, but this is what the UK government says it is. Social distancing means that you have to reduce the social interaction between groups of people. This helps to reduce transmissions of infections or diseases. So the following steps are avoid contact with somebody who is displaying the symptoms. These include having high temperature a continuous cough or cold, avoid non-essential use of public transport where possible, work from home, don't travel to work unless it's absolutely essential and vital, avoid large gatherings and small gatherings within public spaces or your own homes, avoid gathering with friends and family as much as possible, keep in touch with them using remote technology such as social media, telephone, email, text, Use telephone or online services to contact your GP or essential medical services. Everybody should be following these rules to self-isolate, stay at home, wash your hands. And uh, mental health tips are included in this from another article that I found, which I will link below as well. Psychotherapist Lucy Beresford has given some practical tips on how you can cope during this time of social isolation and social distancing. See, she has suggested that we write up a gratitude list, clearing out our old cupboards, learning a new activity such as learning a foreign language, spending more time with friends and family on the phone or video calls to lessen anxiety, listen to online podcasts. But these are great tips for people like myself and for people who may be lacking attention span. But personally for me, these kind of activities will stress me out because... It's still that social barrier. It's still the fact that I'm away from people. And for me, learning a new language, I don't really have the attention span to do that. Whereas I can speak to friends and family on the phone, sure, I can do that. I can learn, try and learn new crafts, activities, things like that. That's fine, but it's all well and good her offering these advice. But again, to me, I would do things like learn to cook a new dish, make some jewellery. Like I have actually got some loom band so i can show you right now i'm actually going to make some loom band jewelry as a way to keep myself busy because right now i am feeling a little bit anxious and i am feeling a little bit panicky but i will attach these websites as well and she also says try to eat healthy balanced meals spend time reading books or listening to radio try watching some tv and get at least an hour of exercise outdoors in your garden or indoors exercise i will link the article so you can find out more for yourself but i thought this video would be helpful for a lot of people on the spectrum for a lot of people with disabilities who can't get out or have lack of access to get outside so these are just some tips from the uk government and i hope you found this useful please like comment share and subscribe and take care stay safe stay indoors please do not go outside the i know the u.s government is saying the same thing stay indoors keep safe keep warm wash your hands regularly make sure that you're keeping yourself clean and i'll see you again soon take care bye